Oh, Republicans demanding their own special counsel as Democrats insist the full Mueller report should be made public. So will the American people finally learn exactly why the probe was launched? Joining us now is senior legal fellow at the Heritage Foundation's Hans von Spakovsky. Thank you so much for joining us. Sure thing. So, you know, you've joined us through the majority of this as it's continued to unfold. Right. Uh, what do you think, you know, where we are now and McConnell blocking this from being fully released? Well, he had, did, really didn't have any choice in that. Uh, federal law prohibits, for example, grand jury information from being made public. And if this report prepared by Mueller has grand jury information in it, uh, the Justice Department has to go through that and, and redact it. Also, they've got to look through it for anything that could affect national security or, or reveal intelligence methods. That also can't be disclosed. So uh, clearly, the Justice Department has to go through and take out materials like that, which, which cannot be disclosed to the public. But do you think Democrats in their vote to you know, release the full report and Republicans, they intended that to be the case? I mean, were they talking about fully releasing it with everything? Oh, yeah. I mean, they, they didn't have any limitation on it. Look, mm. the other thing that should not be released to the public are uh, sp speculations and any kind of derogatory material and unproven accusations against individuals. That would be fundamentally unfair. A anything that did not result uh, in producing enough evidence to justify uh, an, a criminal indictment, that shouldn't be released because it's going to damage the, potentially the reputation of individuals without them having the ability to say in a court of law the, this information is not true. Unproven uh, accusations uh, similar right. to what's happened to President Trump for the past two years? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we should not ha let that happen to other, to other individuals. So I think uh, Senator McConnell actually uh, did the right thing when he blocked uh, the resolution to make the entire thing so he's, public. he's just saying, you know, we'll release this, but protect any parts of it that would be a danger to national security and everything that you just discussed. Exactly right. So what about what uh, Lindsey Graham had to say yesterday in terms of this second special counsel? Do you think that's a good idea? And would that actually get some answers finally in terms of what went on to begin with to start this investigation, including the FISA warrant? Look, we, we now know from this and, frankly, the uh, investigation that Chairman Nunes uh, conducted that uh, it looks like the FBI actually had no basis to even start this investigation. The only thing they, they relied on was the unverified, uh, as Comey said, salacious Steele dossier. Well, we now know that all of the claims in that dossier were not true. There was no collusion uh, between the Russians and the Trump administration. So we need to know, was the FISA statute abused and was this a, a partisan uh, investigation designed to go after the political opposition? Is that the case? If so, uh, we need an investigation to determine that. And, and how up the food chain, so to speak, does that go right. in terms of Hillary Clinton herself and her campaign? How were they involved? When did President Obama know about this in his administration? So what could be the repercussions for them? Well, if it turns out that the, uh, the uh, FISA statute was abused, if it turns out that the FBI and DOJ actually had no basis to open up this investigation, uh, the individuals involved need to be disciplined if they still work for the government. There's a potential for them to be criminally prosecuted. And again, we need to know whether individuals in the White House mm -hmm. uh, and or other campaigns were involved in this kind of abuse of federal law. And spying on another presidential campaign. Yeah, yeah, we've never had anything like that happen that I know of in American history. Unbelievable. Hans, thank you so much. We always appreciate having you with us.